Hello, today we are going to talk about Tezos. The associated digital token Tez, also known as Tezi, can be found on the blockchain network known as Tezos. Tezos, like other cryptocurrency blockchains, makes it easier for users to participate in non-fungible token projects, decentralized applications, and decentralized finance. With a blockchain-based governance mechanism that adopts and implements protocol upgrades chosen by voting proportional to users' economic stake in Tezos, Tezos prevents hard forks or blockchain splits, unlike other blockchains. Forks are prohibited by the network's governance, which is based on economic stakes. Tezos validates blockchain transactions using a proof-of-stake method that consumes less energy than Bitcoin mining. Tezos was dogged by a power struggle and lawsuits after a highly successful ICO. The cost of a Tez dropped from $8 in October 2021 to less than $2 in June 2022. Tezos was brought about by Arthur Brightman, a France local and previous specialist at Google X and Waymo who proceeded to fill in as a quantitative examiner at Morgan Stanley. It was created with the support of Kathleen Brightman, Arthur's significant other and a previous worker of the speculative stock investments Bridgewater Partners and R3, a product organization. According to reports, the couple met at a New York anarcho-capitalist gathering. In 2014, while as yet working at Morgan Stanley, Arthur Brightman distributed a white paper under a pen named The Standards Behind Tezos. Together with the Breitmans, the Switzerland-based Tezos Foundation, led by Swiss entrepreneur Johann Gevers, organized the most successful initial coin offering to date in July 2017. It was the seventh-largest cryptocurrency coin offering as of January 2021. The ICO raised 66,000 bitcoins and 361,000 ethers in 13 days. At the time, the ICO was worth $232 million, and Bitcoin was trading for $1,964. As of January 31, 2022, the Tezos Foundation reported having assets of $1.16 billion. The Tezos ICO was labeled a fundraiser for donations despite eventually allocating Tez in proportion to outside contributions despite investor warnings regarding ICOs from the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, including notice that some are investment securities subject to registration under U.S. law. A power struggle between the Breitmans and Johann Gevers, who eventually resigned as president of the Tezos Foundation at the beginning of 2018, was the first factor that delayed the distribution of coins. In June 2018, nearly a year after the initial coin offering, the Tezos Foundation announced that ICO donors awaiting their TEZ allocations would have to undergo KYC and AML verification first. 94% of the ICO funds had been verified by Tezos as of November 2020. The Brightmans, Dynamic Ledger Solutions, and the Tezos Foundation settled a $25 million class action lawsuit brought on behalf of ICO participants seeking to withdraw their investment in March 2020. Tez began trading for just under $3 in July 2018, but by December of that year, its value had dropped to 36 cents. It reached a high of $2.21 on June 9, 2022, from a low of $8.55 on October 20, 2021. After Tether announced that it would implement its leading stablecoin on the Tezos network, Tez gained nearly 9% that day. Tez ranked 33rd among cryptocurrencies with a market capitalization of $1.99 billion on the same date. Tezos is a decentralized ledger that uses blockchain technology, just like Ethereum and Bitcoin. Tezos, like Ethereum, is made to use smart contracts. The name, Tezos, can be traced back to the ancient Greek word for, smart contract, or, much more likely to an algorithm created by Arthur Brightman to sort through names that were not claimed on the internet and could be pronounced in English. A roll, or st stake of 8,000 Tez, 
entitles its owner to run a network node and receive a proportional share of TES rewards for validating blockchain transactions. A network node referred to as a baker in Tezos parlance may receive smaller TES sums on behalf of holders. Baker stakes are adjusted for inflation proportionally when additional TES currency is created at the conclusion of protocol upgrade cycles to compensate developers whose protocols are adopted. The adoption of protocol upgrades is decided by bakers voting in proportion to their stakes, and the changes are automatically rolled out across the blockchain. Owners who hold at least 81% of the circulating supply of coins are required to participate in final votes. The Tezos Foundation has no involvement in the operations of the network, and all governance and activity are decentralized. Instead, it gives grants and other funding to encourage people to use the network and helps build Tezos infrastructure. Tezos's governance protocols set it apart from Ethereum and Bitcoin, which do not have formal governance systems. It also stands out among cryptocurrencies for its insistence that the blockchain cannot be forked. Also unusual is the provision that changes active stakes when new tokens are made to encourage participation. Tezo supporters also claim that the proof-of-stakes model it uses to validate the blockchain uses less energy than Bitcoin mining. The prices of cryptocurrencies are highly speculative and extremely volatile. Be careful and never take on more risk than you can afford to lose. The ability of Tezo's inflation mechanism to provide stakeholders with additional tokens in the long run remains to be seen. There are some benefits to the network's governance protocols and safeguards against blockchain forks. In a recent experiment, European central banks looked into the possibility of launching a digital euro, or central bank currency, using Tezos technology. Tezos has also attracted one of, an NFT platform that is supported by Quincy Jones, a music producer. Thank you for watching. For more financial news and info. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons.